Welcome back to the presentation on classical geometric construction of full number angles in general. My name is Kimuya Alex from Mary University of Science and Technology. Still in the domain of classical construction of full number angles, in this video, I'm going to teach how to construct angles of magnitudes 10 degrees, 20 degrees, and for me to achieve that, we're going to begin by generation of 52, and then using some other properties from this uh, figure, will be able to construct 10, 20, and 5 degrees. Straight away, without a stage of time, I'll go to the GeoGebra software, and uh, we'll initiate the construction, we'll start the construction. Before that, I need to prepare the working environments and raise the necessary tools for using this construction. I need the point labeling tools. I've used the straight line. I would need to do some angle by sections and importantly I must use the compass tool and possibly this reflection tool. Now next I'm going to begin by plotting two points, a point A and a point B to give me the baseline to start my construction from. I can pick that radius. Now after labeling the point using the labeling tool I'll come here and carry this straight line right between these two points. A and B and I got my baseline. Next I'll use the compass tool to help me generate a point C that should be equidistance between the two points A and B as we have done in the previous constructions and that's the principle in Alex's theorem of construction. So after that I label this point of intersection as the point C. Now we have the point C equidistance between the three point the two points sorry. Now having that I have to use again this straight line to join the point B to point C. Next, I'm required to do some angle bisection, and I'll use this tool, the angle bisector, to divide this line to two equal portions. So, not angle bisection, but this bisection of this chord into two equal portions so that I get some points this point here and this point. I'm going to label these points as point D and point E respectively. Now the concept of angle bisections comes here. As we have seen in the previous presentations, these two angles, angle C, D, E and E, D, B are similar. So I'm going to bisect angle to work from uh, or to proceed with the angle E, D, B. And my first step of construction comes in here. I have made a point here in the intersection between this bisection through D and this curve E, B. I label that point as point F using the labeling tool here. I need that to be my point F. Further, I'm required to bisect and call EDF to get a point G. That's the point of intersection between this bisector and the curve EF. So again, I'll use the labeling tool to label this point F. I mean, sorry, G. And since it cannot be labeled correctly, this is that uh, overlapping. I now label it after do some magnification and it's there. I'll again zoom out to have my figure in the same window that way. I bet I can move it slightly higher or inside that way. Next I'm going to construct an angle of 32 degrees as we've done in the previous construction so that I can arrive at 8 and from there I can get 52 degrees from 60 and that's how we get to that too. I am going to use the center E with the radius DF to generate a point H which is a point of intersection between this arc and the curve EC. Next I'll use again the radius DG after I carry my compass here, I come and pick the radius DG. With the point H as my center, I cut, I make another arc that curves, cuts the curve, sorry, that cuts the curve EH at a point I. Before labeling the point I, I'm going to change the color of this one into a different color. I can pick that for appearance. I'll then zoom in for accurate labeling. And after some magnification, I come here and carry the labeling tool and label that as point I. I can now zoom out to get my figure back that way. 
in co IAB should be 32 degrees. I'll do some further constructions. I'll bisect or contrasect in co IAB to give me 8 degrees. There I have 16. What I'm doing here is to change the appearance of that line for good view or clarity. And I label that point of intersection as point J. So I bisect again and go JAB. The bisection gives me 8 degrees because the general uh, consideration here is ANCO JAB should be 16 degrees. After I do my bisection, I label this as the point K. Now I'll use the compass tool to carry the code KB and with point C as the center. I make an arc that cuts the curve CH at a point L. That's the point L. Now I change again the appearance of this. I can pick this color again so that the arcs appear different. And call L A B is 52 degrees. We can confirm that by doing some measurements. Let me just pick the point up to B. Here I'm getting 308, the reflex angle. So if you go in the scale of 0 to 180 degrees, that's 52. Enco I, AB was 32 degrees. That is it. So the difference between 52 and 32 is 20 degrees. That means if I use my compass tool and pick the code L, I have carried 20 degrees. Now here it appears a bit congested and I do not want to congest the figure further. I'll move the figure inside a bit, zoom in slightly so that I can have the room to reflect. Using this uh, geometric transformation toolbox, I pick this tool to help me re reflect point B about point A to give me the point B prime. Then again, I use the compass tool to carry my distance L I that code and I place it here with B prime as my center. I can make this one of a different color, possibly that. Now if uh, I label this point of intersection between the curve B prime C and the arc I've just constructed as point M, I use the straight line to join M to A. The angle MAB prime, MAB prime should be 20 degrees. You already get it. I do by section of the angle MAB prime that way. I change the appearance of this into another color, possibly that. And I label this point of intersection between the bisector and the curve. B prime M as point M. Further, I'll use the ANCO bisector, I mean the, the ANCO measure tool to determine the size of the ANCO M and sorry, NAB prime, and that gives me 10. It simply means if I keep on bisect, bisecting these ankles I generate, I'm going to get some other very interesting results. So that one gives me, I can choose to use that color. If I label here as O, and again do the measurement, I get 5. I can proceed and get 2.5, 1.25, and so on. But I promise to show how to construct 10 and its multiples. So in our construction, we have been able to generate 52 degrees, 20, 10, and 5. You can proceed further doing bisections and produce another angles. The, com the, 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 the corresponding angle here, M, A, B, is 160. So if we are able to construct 10, we are able to construct 170. If we are able to construct 20, we are able to construct 160. And it is in that agreement. So in the next video, I'm going to show how to construct angles of magnitude 10, and sorry, 70, and...
we would proceed in other tutorials learning how to employ the Alex method or theorem in construction of the very many whole number anchors. Thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe for this video.